Hey guys, uh, before, oh wow, before I start today's video, um, this has nothing to do with the video I'm doing today. I was just randomly playing Minecraft, uh, what, looked down, checked my phone, back into a wall, and this skeleton keeps shooting me, and I am taking zero damage. Hang on, just a second. Yeah, as you can see, I have all these arrows right next to me, and he's doing zero damage. So I think I'm just going to take that guy out. Now, I wish I could pick up all those arrows. Maybe somewhere there's an update where I can. But anyways, let's get on with the video. To the Batmobile. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Batman231 here. Um, today, I thought it'd be kind of fun if we played uh, Pokemon Go. Um, it seems to be very popular right now, and I have Braden with me. Um, and he says he sees a Pikachu, which I thought is perfect for my first Pokemon Go episode, so we're going to try and find this bad boy. Alright, so Brayden thinks we found something. It's probably not the Pikachu, but there's some rustling and everything is three footsteps away. So it's possible that the game is just being weird, or... I don't know. Uh, hopefully we can find something. So I don't know how well you guys can see that, but the, the Pikachu has left, unfortunately. However... We're going to go after one of these guys because I am pretty much a level 5, if you didn't see that. I need 40 more experience, so that is less than one Pokemon. So we're going to get something. looks like a Pidgey or something is close, so let's do that. Alright, so the Pikachu has come back, um, so we're going to try and do that. And this dog seems very excited about that. So I guess we're going back for the Pikachu again. Y'all probably can't do that too well. Unfortunately, the Pikachu left again. It keeps teasing us. However, there's a Ponita, so let's try and get that. Alright guys, so we found a Pokemon. I can't quite tell what it is. Oh. Sorry, the camera's sucking. Quick. Anyways. Go run. Yeah, you do it, Braden. Um, it kind of looks like a Growth or an Abra. It's an Abra, haha. -ha. Oh, you gotta spin it, buddy. Come on. Oh. You got this. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Two, three. We got an Abra. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, if memory serves, once we get this, oops, zoom out, once we get this Abra registered to the Pokedex, I should. Level up! Woohoo! I only needed 40 and I got 650. I am not going to complain about that. So we legitly have not taken a single step and then a Pidgey came out of nowhere. So we're going to let Brain try and get this one. There you go. Oh, except you guys cannot see that. There you go. Two, three. Another gotcha. Pidgey. Alright guys, we have found a Diglett. So we're going to let Brayden try again at this one. So, watch you flick it. Because he's a green, so... A I'll just bit. normally do it. Yeah, normally do it. A little bit harder. There, oh, I thought that was it. I bounced yeah. off his head. There you go. Alright. Okay, let's hope. One. one two, two. Three. Nice. Yes. Gotcha. That is two new Pokemon. I like it. Alright, so we don't know exactly what it is yet, but we did see a Pokemon just up the street a ways. So we're going to try and go get it and actually get it. We've chased down like five different Pokemon without getting anything, so wish us luck. Alright guys, so the uh, sun is setting. That's why the lighting is so terrible. Pokemon is like right around here, so we're just going to keep walking. No, it's um, being stupid. Oh, it's being stupid. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you can't even see me right now. The Hello, Mr. Sun. There's a song about that. Anyway, so... See, is there a Pokemon? Yep. See any more wrestling? It is, was right there. I mean, there. So it's broke? So the game's not working again? Well, let's see really quick. Let's see really quick. Depends on how fast it's 
There's three Pidgeys. Alright, there are apparently three Pidgeys. Brayden is doing the po- oh hey, you can see me. Brayden's doing the Pokemon hunting today. So, oh, there we go. Um, so I'm just going to take his word for it and I'll let you know if we find anything. Alright guys, we found another Pidgey. And if you ask me, you should probably catch everything. You should catch everything you see, even if you already have it, even if it's like a Zubat or a Rattata or a Pidgey. Because you need to, you need them to power up you guys and to, oh! Got out, did you run? got out and ran? Ah, oh, freaking Pidgey ran away on a spin ball? How the heck does that even work? Alright, so we are going to head home. We've been doing this for about an hour. Um, if we run into anything great, um, if not uh, great, we've already caught a bunch of things. Uh, we've seen another Pokemon group here, so, uh, so everything's probably taken. So yeah, so I will see you guys at our place or unless we catch anything. Cannot believe a freaking Pidgey ah. ran away on a spin ball. It's a little bit more than ridiculous to me. However, ah. uh, there is... I don't know the names. The second evolution to the male guy, like the second evolution to Needle King. Uh, you guys can tell me what his name is because I don't, I don't Pokemon. I, the only reason I do is because it's like virtual geocaching. Anyway, so we're gonna check that out. Um, if we find something great, if we don't, we'll probably just head home because we've ran into another Pokemon uh, group. So they're whoa, water. So they're probably taking everything we haven't. So let's go. Ooh, we found a drowsy. Hang on. Found a drowsy, you said? Brain, why don't you take this one? Yeah. Oh, a little harder. Yeah. There you go. Hopefully this one doesn't freaking run away. One, two, three. It's gotcha. in. Sweet. We got a drowsy. <laughs> All right, guys. So there is... We decided to call him Needle Prince for the time being because I, I don't know what his name is. But, um, like I said, we're a little bit worried someone's going to catch him, so Brayden and I are. We're going to try and get it before everyone else. And the point of this is to get exercise, right? Anyway, so I'm just going to use my bat speed over there real quick. All right, so I'm gonna speak up a little bit because we are point. halfway point. I thought we were almost there. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. All right, so we got across 40th now. So obviously I need to close the camera to do this as safely as possible. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. So unfortunately, the uh, the prince uh, got away from us. And the servers have crashed over and over and over again. Uh, there is supposedly a uh, a Kadabra and a Vulpix nearby. However, uh, I'm a little tired of the servers, and both my camera and phone are already dead. So we're gonna get home, and then you guys will get to see what team I am on. Uh, so. Well, I have, and you guys are watching this anyways. If you guys want me to do more Pokemon Go videos, um, leave a thumbs up if you want to like it, if you, or that's the same thing, if you want to comment. Really appreciate it. Uh, about blind due to the sun, but I think I can suck it up for a little bit. But yeah, so, unless the game starts working, I will see you guys at home. Alright guys, so we are back home. Um, I had changed my shirt because this took longer to record than I thought. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it. And I have, I'm about to choose my team. Unfortunately, my uh, screen recorder cannot record Pokemon Go, so I have to do it like this. Let's see. Wow, looks like you caught a bunch of Pokemon and gained a lot of experience as a Pokemon trainer, huh? Great work. Oh, thank you, Professor. It looks like you are ready to start participating in Pokemon battles. I am. I really am. I have three excellent assistants. They each direct a team and each have a slightly different approach to researching Pokemon. Part of their research is conducting Pokemon battles at gyms. What other part do they do? <laughs> Let's see, they're apparently excited to have you joining as a team member. Alright, yellow. Hey, 
The name's Spark, leader of Team Instinct. Pokemon are creatures with excellent intuition. I bet their secret to intuition is related to how they hatched. Come join my team. You never lose when you trust your instincts. Uh, and that's false, actually. Blue. Let's see. I am Blanche. I, I don't know. Leader of Team Mystic. <laughs> the wisdom of Pokemon are is immeasurably deep. I am researching why it is that they evolve. My team? With our calm analysts of every situation, we can't lose. Big words. Red. I am... Clandia? I don't know. I can't read. Team Valor's leader. Pokemon are stronger than humans and they are warm hearted too. I am researching ways to enhance Pokemon's natural power in pursuit of true strength. There's no doubt that Pokemon. <laughs> sorry. There's no doubt that the Pokemon our team have trained are the strongest. Wait, what? There's another Pokemon our team has. Our team have trained. Okay, this is worded really weird. There is no doubt that the Pokemon our team have trained are the strongest in battle. Actually, that's fine. Are you ready? Alright, guys. The grand moment you've all been waiting for. Which team shall I choose? Instinct. Mystic. Valor. Yellow. Blue. Red. Am I going to do... I don't know. Am I going to say screw it all and not choose the team because I don't want the drama? And I'm going to choose. Boop. No. You had some against Team Valor, Instinct, whatever team I just chose. Yes. All right. I have selected Team Instinct. Guys, the teams aren't really a big deal to me. There's no buffs. There's no nothing. The reason I chose Instinct is because my brother-in-law's on that team. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, my first ever Pokemon Go adventure. Uh, let me know if you want to do this some more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.